Okay. What up? So I just got back from seeing Deadpool and Wolverine, and I wasn't going to make a video because, I don't know, I'm not really that big of a Deadpool fan. When I was younger, I tried to get into the comic books, and I couldn't. It's the same situation almost with Doctor Strange. I used to love the comics and want to get them. And whenever I opened them and read them, I never understood what was going on because they used very big words for a very little kid, and I just didn't understand what they were saying. Uh, so with Deadpool, it was different because they had multiple boxes, and I'm like, what? And I just couldn't get into it. As I got a little bit older, I liked Deadpool, but I thought he was too similar to um, DC's Deathstroke. Found out that they're both created by the same guy. So, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Anyway, so I was just never really into Deadpool as a kid. Uh, so I liked the movies, though. When uh, the first movie came out and it was Ryan Reynolds, everybody that was a fan of the comics told me that Ryan Reynolds was the perfect casting for the film. And I thought he did a good job. I never heard his voice, but that's what they said. They always heard Ryan Reynolds' voice as Deadpool. So I'm like, okay. And I like the first movie. I like the second movie. This one, I don't know. I'm tired of the whole multiverse thing. I think Disney <laughs> the bed when it came to this multiverse idea. They had a huge success when it came to Spider-Man 3. They had a doorway into introducing the mutants, the X-Men into uh, the Disney Marvel Cinematic Universe. And to have the new Avengers bring, being included with some X-Men characters. And they just didn't do it. And everything they decided to do was sh <laughs> Shang-Chi had good parts. And I was excited for Shang-Chi. And at the same time, it also was <laughs> A lot of stuff didn't make sense in Shang-Chi. So that was the first failure. Uh, WandaVision was, the t was when I actually just stopped and gave up. Uh, the show was good. I was getting into it. And the last episodes was the biggest letdown and disappointment i thought and um i just hated the show and i was like that's it i'm done i'm officially done with marvel the only thing i saw after that was spider-man no way home and uh that was it i haven't watched a single marvel thing because i'm not one of those people online and there's a bunch of them that constantly make videos about Marvel and the downfall of Marvel and the downfall of Disney, but they continue to make videos talking about it so people still watch and listen. When I'm done with something, I'm done. My friend gets upset with me because that's the way I am and I've always been that way. I'm just completely done. Um, I won't give it another chance. Until now, technically. But that's not because of Marvel Disney. That's because of Ryan Reynolds and his passion for this character and it showed in this film. So I went to see this movie with not so much, not high or low expectations. I just went to go see the last supposedly um, Deadpool film. And I left the theater being very happy. I was happy in a sense because this was like a love letter. Now people, I asked some, I talked to somebody about it. Now let me say what the film's about first. Basically Deadpool's timeline is gonna be erased and destroyed, but they just want to take Deadpool because he's something special. Basically, this idea for this script was the, the Fox Cinematic Marvel Universe is destroyed. It's over. Disney bought it, and they haven't done shit with it. So we don't want anything. We do want Deadpool. We're going to make a movie. We want Deadpool, but we don't care about anything else. So Deadpool has to save his world, and he figures the only way he can save it is if he gets uh, Wolverine to come help him. And then we get a bunch of cameos of different Wolverines. And then uh, this Wolverine is... Uh, not so great and not so wonderful, but it's reminded to him later on in the film by somebody important uh, that he never was. He was always this fuck. He was always a drunk and he was never the hero until he needed to be. So that was good. Uh, in general, the film is great. There's a, there are a lot of cameos, as I said. Uh, one that I loved, I was so shocked because I stood away from this and all the tra I only saw the one trailer. Besides that, I stood away from all the cameo, the news, everything like that. I just didn't want to know anything about it, and I wasn't really going to go see the movie. So when the cameos came, there was two. The, there was two cameos that I really liked. One was like I was like, "Oh my god!" And everyone in the theater was like, "Oh." Uh, the second one, the second one was one that I was like, "Wait a second! I remember that they casted him." But yeah, so I'm not going to spoil anything here. If you want to see the movie? Go check it out. No spoilers here. Um, all in all. It was a good movie. I say the only thing that suffers is the fact that, like all movies today, is too long. And I don't know how they decide to continue to make these films so long that editors don't want to edit things out or directors won't cut things out or the studios want to make things as long as possibly as they possibly can instead of trying to make more money and make things shorter. 
This movie was extremely long in my opinion. A lot of people say, no, it was perfect timing. and every, yeah, I thought it was long, just like Axel F was long, but that's for streaming, but either way. Long, 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 long. I thought it was very long. And then there's points where even Ryan Reynolds addresses the camera, or Deadpool, I should say, and says, don't worry, we're gonna get to the good part. <laughs> so it, it was long. Uh, he even says to, to Wolverine at one point, like, don't worry, the, the fans, have, uh, the audience has become accustomed to this time length of film. So, um, this length of film, whatever the fuck. So, uh, yeah, it was a good movie. I liked it. I left, and I don't think it's member berries. That's what I was trying to say, because somebody said, oh, I hear it's just member berries. No, not necessarily. There's a difference. This isn't member berries. Like, Axel F was member berries, where everything you watch was, oh, remember this, remember that? It was giving the characters closure, and it was also fan service. It was giving the fans what they wanted. And watching this film is, without a doubt, clear that Ryan Reynolds is a true fan of Deadpool, He's a true fan of Marvel, and he's a true fan of the actual comics and the source material and the comic book characters. That was evident, especially with the cameos of all the different Wolverines that we see. It was great. A, very, a lot of references to comic books that we never saw. One comic book accurate version of Wolverine. Uh, we get Anyway, I'm not going to get into all this. It was just great. It really was. Um, I, I, I thought it was great, and I, I don't think it was more fan service than member berries. It was more giving the fans what they wanted. The, there are some cameos that didn't come that I wish were, um, but it was it was fun. It was a fun film, and at the end, the, it was a tribute to all the Fox characters, all the Fox films, all the X Men Fox movies, uh, even the bad ones, because there was a little montage of all of that. I thought that was great. I think this movie is a really good movie. I'm surprised. I'm not. I'm technically kind of surprised how much I liked it, but not at the same time. So. Uh, yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed this movie. So, if you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. You'll have a good time watching it. It's very funny. Uh, a lot of blood. A lot of blood, which was great. Finally, Wolverine with blood. Finally, Wolverine in the mask. Even though it's a short period of time, he's in the mask, which was great. Although, funny enough, I think somebody made... I saw a little clip somebody made on Instagram back when the trailer first was released. And they CG'd the mask on Wolverine the entire film. And I was like, I bet you that's what this is going to be. Like, he's going to have the mask on for the entire movie. No, he doesn't. But the mask that they did in the Instagram version looked better than the mask they did in the movie. But um, but it was great to see him in the mask, finally. And uh, it was a funny film. It has a lot of heart, too. Um, Ryan Reynolds is just great. And I hear he fought a lot for a lot of the things that they put in this film. And that they were trying to put other stupid garbage into this movie and he fought and he said no 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 and it paid off at the end of the day now lastly i want to say is don't get it twisted marvel disney marvel is not going to course correct shit yes i heard they cast robert downey jr to play doom great in a movie that's going to be doom avengers that they're building is, is going to come out what so soon in 2025 right is it 2025 or 20, 2026 how are you building up to this? You, are we supposed to believe that Captain Marvel... Oh, yeah, by the way, the intro, they showed all the garbage films that... Like, like you know, they have the cap and they have all these characters, you know, in the Marvel intro. And then oh, the ending is all the f characters that nobody gives a crap about. They were front and center featured. I don't know. So I don't know how they're going to do this movie. With what Avengers are they going to be picking? Uh, it's probably the the most likely whatever this Fantastic Four film with the girl from Ozark, right? She's supposed to be Silver Surfer. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I don't think they're gonna course correct. <laughs> yeah, the Russos are involved in the Avengers film, and they'll probably write a good script to try to make some money, but it's not the same as it was for the first Avengers film when he had each movie was. A good director was hired, a good writer was hired. They came up with a good script because those first movies, even The Incredible Hulk, though that was a little bit, ugh, is still better than <laughs> whatever we've gotten recently. Um, the Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, the first one was great. Uh, even though Captain America my, is the first Avenger, it was my least favorite of the original <laughs> uh, films to come out. It's still much better than anything they've done in a long time. And Thor, that was kind of boring. Not much happening technically besides the opening, beginning fight sequence and then he's banished to Earth and then he comes back at the end. But not that much action technically in that movie. Much better film. Um, 
Yeah, and obviously Deadpool is going to be in the Avengers film um, because that's there's a point, there's a little thing that's shown in this that I think they're going to put in the Avengers movie, but um, I just don't see it. I don't see them course correcting anything. They're going to do the same thing they've been doing. The only reason why they got the Russos back is because they need a, a blockbuster because they've been failing and failing and failing. That's it. This is not going to change them from making an all-female X-Men movie. This will not stop them from doing their, continuing their, their woke direction. I mean, there are characters they can do. There are characters they can do and make movies about that aren't known and elevate those characters like they did with Shang-Chi. But then again, this is my problem with that movie. Shang-Chi was great and cool on his own. And he was built and taught from a young age to be this warrior. And in the background, his younger sister was mimicking, not being trained by anybody, and she's better than him. And then you got uh, Aquafina, the worst of the worst. The worst. <laughs> I just dislike her so much. She's Marvel's, what is it, Marvel's Katie? Is that her name, Katie? Bow and arrow out of nowhere, shooting the f ah. out of nowhere in the last minute. Ah. Off. Ah. Off. Ah. Off. Ah. Off with this sh Oh, f ah. I remember like when my girl power was the Spice Girls. Anyway, I don't see them doing anything correct, uh, correcting anything. They're going to go in the same direction. Uh, it's going to be Miss Marvel. It's going to be Captain Marvel. It's going to be Shang, uh, Shabby. That's like Shabby. That's what he is. Uh, Simu Limu, whatever the f ah. he's a Shabby. And that's that's the direction that uh, Marvel is going to continue to go in. Uh But for the meantime, uh, yeah, because I, I also think Fantastic Four is going to suck ass with Pedro Pascal as I'm sick of him. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, whatever. Um, all in all, I like Deadpool Wolverine. I thought it was a good movie. Don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up. They're not going to fix much. The next one, uh, Fantastic Four, is probably going to be ah! And then whatever they're coming out after that is probably going to be ah! until they do something to make to lead up to the Avengers. What? I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do to lead up. I think they're trying. Maybe they'll correct uh, Fantastic Four. Maybe. But Reed Richards. Pa pa Pedro Pascal is not Reed Richards. It's as simple as that. And bringing back Robert Downey Jr. is just for the money. That's it. Because they, ca they can't build to anything. So let's just cast him now. And then, and then they continue the multiverse. You f***ing ruined the multiverse. This film... Doesn't really do much for the multiverse. It doesn't go to different multi. Well, yeah, cameo wise, yes, but not really. It it's it's okay. It was okay. They didn't use the multiverse too much. You f ah! dropped the ball with the multiverse. You did it yourself. All you had to do was introduce the mutants somehow into the f ah! universe. That's it. And somebody keeps f ah! texting me now. Anyway, that's my review for um, the Wolverine. I thought, I mean, the Wolverine. That's my review for Deadpool Wolverine. I liked it. Highly enjoyed it. I'd give it, if I was rating it, I gave it uh, 4.5 out of, no, 4 out of 5 stars. Actually, I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I thought it was pretty good. It was, the length is the only the downside, in my opinion. I liked it. First Marvel movie I've liked in a very long time. First one I've seen in a long time, but still. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about this uh, movie. If you liked it, what was your favorite cameo? I have one. I have two. Two are my favorite. Actually, three, maybe. Actually, all four. <laughs> Actually, all four were, were pretty great. Even that one. I thought they could have it could have had more, honestly. Uh, it would have been better if they had more. But, um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's my review for Deadpool Wolverine. I think you should definitely go check it out in the movies if you want to have a good time. Just make sure you have the time to go see this movie and you won't be upset. Uh, very enjoyable. Um, highly entertaining to see with the audience. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.